let's make a AI chatbot. We can see a demo here. So where it says human I type, say hello. And the bot replies, well, hello, Mispa. And I say, what are you? And it replies, I'm a bot and I'm silly. If I ask, what do you do? It says, I'm here to annoy you. And notice if I have a different type of question. So what do you do? And look at all the caps logs. It still gives out a response, which is perfect. And if I say, who am I? Oh, well, let's go into the coding. So basically you need three types of files here. The first file will be simply.py. So create three, go ahead and three, create three files with these file names, simply.py, then std startup XML. And the third one is basic chat, oops, basic chat.aiml. So you need these three files in order to run this program. And let's go ahead and start filling up all these three files. The first file, the first and most important file is the AIML, the simply.py file, which will be running the whole AIML library. And now what is AIML? So this is a markup language, which is being designed to use AI chatbots. So you just go ahead and import AIML. Now, how do you install AIML? So just go into your command prompt over here like this and do pip install AIML and it'll go ahead and install. In my case, I've already installed it. So it won't work. I mean, if, if it's already installed, so it doesn't matter for me. But if you just go ahead and click pip install AIML, you'll be fine. So once that is done, go back to your code and let's start finishing it. So AIML, this is very simple to use. It's all about creating some patterns and recognition for the library. So the first thing after you import AIML is create a kernel. And a kernel is what reads these patterns, read your text and understand what you're trying to ask. And then it goes into a library of all the information that was stored and then retrieves the exact information for you. So this is the brain behind the ch chatbot. And you initialize the kernel by kernel equal to AIML kernel. And this is a function which is already inside the AIML library. And you put down kernel dot learn. So you're going to be learning. So you're, you're providing this is a machine learning project where you're trying to learn what the patterns are. Say if, uh, you have noticed in the demo where we say hello. So what what kind of a response should come up when you're saying hello? Or when I ask, what are you? So it reads that text and understands. So where is that learning coming from? So it will come up from this file and it says std startup.xml. So this is the initialization file. And once this file is loaded, you ask this file to go ahead and read all I have available in B. So load AIML B. This is nothing but a pattern which is stored in this std startup XML. And I'll go into that now. So let's go into standard XML file here. And I'll copy the most important kind code, which is important. And this is initializing the AIML version. So I'm saying that the version I'm using is 1.0.1 .1, and I'm defining what kind of a coding I had. So once you have initialized this, you just close the tag by putting AIML. And everything inside this is the AIML tags. So the first tag goes as category. Let's close the category as well so we don't forget. And once we have the category, now you define what kind of a pattern it should be looking for. Pattern. And we also close the pattern. Okay. Now, what kind of a pattern it is looking for? It is looking for that load AIMLB. So it's saying wherever the kernel loads 
load AIMLB, then it should come to the standard XML file, load AIMLB, and when load AIMLB is called, it should give out so and so response. And the response is you give a template. Let's close the template as well. And you close the template and you say read or learn basic chat dot AIML file. So this is the file that your AIML library is going to read. So let me before I go further, let me explain what we are doing here. So this is the driver, this code, the simply.py Python file. This is the driver and this is the this is calling the kernel, which is the brain. And when the brain is called for the child library, it goes and reads this main file, the standard startup XML file. And the startup XML file is having this code for the basic chat AIML file. So you're coming when the when the code comes into this, it loads the AIML file and it reads the basic chat AIML file. And here we are going to store all the machine learning codes or the text that the chatbot is going to read. So say for example, in our case, again, let me co copy this line here because this is going to be needed for the basic chat AIML file as well. And here we're going to just define what kind of text the bot is going to encounter. So we have here, and we specify the category. We specify the category first. And in the category, it looks for a pattern. This is how AIML is designed. It looks for patterns and it looks for a template. So once you define the pattern, okay. So pattern is nothing but what the bot is going to look for. So when I type hello, so hello is a pattern for the chatbot. What should it do? It should look for the pattern hello and it should def and it should give out this template and we will define the template now. Well, hello, Mispa. So this is what is going on. It looks for the pattern and the pattern is hello. And whenever it encounters this pattern, hello, it will say, well, hello, Mispa. So this is the text, this is the trigger text that the AIML library will be looking for. So as soon as hello is encountered, it will respond, well, hello, MISPA. So this is one category, and this is one type of response. Now, if you want to create another type of response, just go ahead and we'll, what we'll do is we'll copy this, so it makes our life easy. Let's copy this, and let's paste this. And now let's create another, pattern and when it says well what are you we say I am a bot silly so this is the template so again when it looks for the pattern what are you it says I am bot and I am silly so let me write down I and I am silly so this is something what the bot is going to respond you with and you just save these files and as many categories as you want. You can just go ahead and create this. And this is basically designed for certain types of applications where you want the bot to be running on the web. It, and this is just a response function. This is the function where it reads the text and just gives out the response. Now you can have this run on a web server, on a backend uh, chat application, or maybe a customer service bot where it looks for certain requirements, certain text in the text in the user's text, and then gives out the appropriate responses. So this is how a simple, a basic uh, pattern and template is being designed in a category. And once this is done, so it goes basically this basic chat.iml is being called and it's read. Once we have all these, these two files loaded and ready, you just go ahead and go back to your Python file and now create your responses. So the style or this is just to load and read the text and just call the library. So we'll, we'll create a while loop, an infinite while loop. So it constantly reads for response, for, reads for input from the user. 
and then also responds based on what the chatbot comes up with. So let's call, let's say input text. We have an input text which is coming, which is expected to come from the human. And we say input, and this is the input that the human is going to enter. So just for our understanding, we'll put human and we'll put a semicolon or colon here. So it reads whatever is given here, it will be read as if it's uh, been coming from a human. And now, once you have the text that was being entered by the human, you want to provide that text to your kernel. And the kernel is going to read all your AI, the machine learning library, all the patterns that you had stored, and it will retrieve the appropriate response for your text. So response equal to kernel dot respond input text. So again, what is happening? You have your input text, which came from your user. You're just passing that user, that text to the kernel respond function from AI ML, which is going to use that text to read the appropriate response from these files from this category. So when the chatbot encounters hello, it comes back and says the template should be well hello MISPA. And that is going to be stored in this response variable. And what do we do? We just print it out. Print bot and the bot said response. So this is all it is to do. This is all, the, just the 10 lines of code from the driver of Python file. This is all what is going to be controlling that chatbot. So if we go back and see how, again, the command prompt runs, we'll call python simply.py and it again loads up. Now it says human. So what do we say? Hello. And it comes back and says, well, hello, MISPA. So again, it's going to run the while loop infinitely. So you, you can ask as many questions as you want. Say, what are you? And it says, I'm a bot. Now, if you ask something which is uh, difficult or which is not being designed in or which is not present in the chatbot file, then it would come out with a no response. Say, for example, you are stupid. It says no match found because this was not designed or not entered into your category pattern and template functions. But uh, this is also able to define, say, hello bot. So hello and bot, you have defined it as hello. So it's not it's not able to detect hello because hello is assigned with a bot. But if you go back to your AIML file, and if you change this to hello over here, if you say hello star, so it's whatever you put down, you just change that hello to star. And if you save it like we do here, and if you just simply go ahead and save this thing, it's going to read whatever you want to put down. So let's go back to your command prompt and let's close this. Let's rerun this. And we say hello. It says no match found now because now it's expecting for something more apart from hello. You say hello, stupid. You say hello, MISPA. Hello, Bill. Well, hello, Mispa. Hello, Cindy. Well, hello, Mispa. So now it's expecting and whatever response comes through. So that's star which we put down. It's now expecting that anything could come along with hello and it should take it. So even if I put down hello, I, it will take it. Hello with a space, it will take. Oh, it did not take it. I was wrong. So hello J or a Y, it'll take it. So that's that's all it is. And uh, this AIML has many more complex functions where you can make it as a full blown, full blown machine learning ch chatbot. But in our case, I mean, just for the beginner level, we took out all the basics only. And if you are interested in understanding and getting more and understanding and uh, getting more about the chatbots, just leave a comment and I'll make a video if I have enough uh, request for it. So yeah, with that, I come to the conclusion. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.